Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the in week function. So many times we have a scenarios where we need to validate whether a particular date is falling within the week or not and based on that validation we have to make some sort of business logic or further processing. So how to identify is uh, basically based on the in week function which is in the click sense where you have uh, three two important uh, op parameters one is timestamp that means the date that you want to evaluate and the base date so a particular date in uh, related to which you want to check whether this timestamp is falling in the week or not and then finally period where zero indicate current one indicate next week uh, compared to the best base date or two indicate uh, the next second week based on the base date and then finally you have the first week day where zero indicates that it is Monday but in some scenario where the week is starting to a later day let's say in some countries week starts on Saturday like uh, if I have uh, heard it right in the uh, Middle East countries you have the uh, Thursday and Friday as holiday and generally week is starting on Saturday and uh, in that case you can shift it uh, accordingly where zero indicate uh, the Monday and so on and so forth up until Tuesday, uh, Sunday so zero one two three so one will indicate uh, Tuesday two will indicate Wednesday three will indicate uh, Thursday four Friday so if week is starting on the Saturday then it will be five okay so see how we can configure this so I'm going into the data and over here we have this uh, base table as the temp table which contains the invoice date and based on a particular date we want to check whether this date is falling in that week or not all right so for that what I will do is INV date or invoice underscore week underscore date whatever table name you want to give and uh, then let's see how we can implement that function so what I'm doing is first specifying the load and going to take both of these columns invoice ID and invoice date by specifying star and then in week function so in week function is uh, first parameter will come the invoice state because this is what we want to validate or check whether based on the date we will going to specify it is coming in that week or not after that we will going to mention the particular date so for example 25-03-2012 so what I'm checking is in this particular week in which this particular date is falling the 25th of March what is the related date so what I'm expecting is 28th of March in this case and uh, yeah that's the minimum I need to give by default it will take the so if I just click save by default it will going to take the period number as zero that means the current week as of this week if I want to specify the next week in comparison with the current date then I will specify one so it will look for the dates in the fab because uh, by that time the date will be closed or the month will be closed and will move the week in the next week so we'll see that as well but for now let me give as the column name week check load star comma this comma week check and uh, resident so I think the third parameter is also we need to give because if I just check the syntax yeah only the fourth parameter is optional the first three parameter is something what you need to provide so now there is no error and resident is stamp table now since stamp table columns are already in the invoice table which is invoice state and invoice id then we can simply drop this table so drop table temp table hit save load close it come to analysis now we will going to create a chart and add a dimension which is in white state on which the validation happened now we will going to get the column week check 
All right, so now you can see for 28th of March, we are getting minus one, right? And uh, minus one indicates true, uh, which is little odd when I compare it with the programming languages where zero indicate false, one indicates true, but uh, in click sense, you have minus one as true and zero indicates false. Now let's try with this particular uh, value, which is fifth of fab. So what I'll do is uh, I will change the value of zero to one. So what it will going to look at by taking this as a base date, it will going to check whether the date is falling in the next week, not in the current week because zero indicate current week. So save, load, close, come to analysis. So nothing is coming over here. So probably 5th of May, oh sorry, 5th of Feb is maybe in the, uh, third week so current week next week and next to next week let's try this load it close it all right so even in that case it is not giving you giving us the output 05 to 2013 okay so i guess uh, what i'm looking at is wrong because it is 2013 and it is 2012 right so we can we can further check this uh, for something related to 25th of fab 2013 so what i can do is i can 25th of uh, fab 2013 if i can do this and want to check load the data let's see now still not coming i will just check with two for the last time so 25th oh 25th of Jan I need to say because we are surpassing this so that's that's something you need to keep on keep an eye on because with dates you can be slightly wrong so 5th Feb has still not come I will just try one last time ideally it should work okay no error yeah so now it is minus one so that means this date, the 5th of Feb is falling uh, not in the next week, but next to next week. So that's how you can uh, try with this. And uh, if you don't want fixed list, you can or fixed date, you can specify a list as well, which will going to check the invoice date is falling in a particular date or not, or a list of dates not. So that's how you can do it and you can apply the same function in the front end with the same parameters. So what I suggest is create uh, one dimension within this table as an ex exercise and uh, create enter the week in week column for doing the testing. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.